Blind Date with Mick Farron. Mick Farron reviews the sounds of June 1969. This is Uncle Meat, isn't it? Not a great deal you can say about this. But there are some really amazing things on this album, although this isn't one of them. Zappa seems to have developed a preoccupation with brass on this record. You've got to think of this in terms of being film music, which is very hard when the film hasn't been made. I think Zappa is becoming self-indulgent with the length of his cuts. Some of them are becoming too long to sustain the interest. The use of percussion on this album is beautiful though. The mothers have a terrifically distinctive sound, and much of it has to do with their drummer. Great records like this never get played on the radio, only the rubbish. So the revolution gets held back another three years. Lady Madonna, lying on your bed. I have this album. This is Richie Havens doing a Black Beatles. There's a track on this called Ballad of Ramon which I dig far more than this. I didn't like it when the Beatles did it. This seems far in front of his natural rhythm which is much slower. I really dig Havens but not this. Why does everybody sing so high these days? No idea who it is. I thought it was some respectable soul. I'd rather have Otis Redding any time. And every time. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I really don't know about this. The guitar is like Havens and the singing is like Nina Simone. And they've added strings so as you get your money's worth. Cat Stevens? That explains it. I can remember when Derham was an experimental label. I quite like this. This has the same thing about it as the difference between Ike and Tina produced by Phil Spector, and produced by Ike Turner. They are in two different categories. I'd be quite pleased if I heard this on the radio when I was in bed in the morning. But nobody is trying very hard. I wish producers would try as hard as Spectre. You can do much more with this gospel-oriented folk music. Is this the Straubs? Woody Guthrie did a song called The Ballad of Jesus Christ, which makes it clear that anyone who stood up today and said I'm Jesus Christ would be torn to pieces. The use of the conception is good, and the sound is reminiscent of what Townsend and company were doing a few years ago on the Who Sell Out but the care hasn't gone into it. I don't like this very much. Is a of mine. Albert Finney was a friend of mine. That was the first line, wasn't it? I don't really want to know about Alfie Finney. He doesn't interest me at all. This seems like another piece of assemblage where nobody cares. You could do the Billy Monster to this. No idea who it is. Group Therapy, they were good when they played here. I like the beat but the vocals sound a bit confused. Apart from Richie Havens, this was the nicest thing you've played me. 